Police officers Anthony Kingham, Mario Laksamana and David Manila were not dressed in the typical blue. Instead, today they donned the distinct color of orange as they appeared in the Superior Court of Guam for an arraignment hearing. All three defendants pleaded not guilty to the slew of prostitution and criminal sexual conduct charges against them. Their attorneys also asserted their clients' rights to a speedy trial and asked for an explanation as to why the indictment was initially sealed. But before the case can even see a trial, presiding judge Anita Sokola will have to entertain motions for dismissal. Attorney Tom Fisher represents Officer Anthony Kenga. We filed a motion to dismiss based on statute of limitations. Uh, the government alleged that this activity, you know, it's just an accusation. There's no truth to it, but they have accused them of um, some behavior that occurred between 2006 and early 2008. So the government has been sleeping on this case essentially for four and a half years. It's well beyond the statute of limitations, and the judge should just throw it out. The indictment alleges that the crimes occurred between 2006 and January 2008. The statute of limitations limitations on criminal sexual conduct felonies against adults prior to May 2011, when the law was changed, was three years. That means the government had three years after January 2008 to prosecute defendants Kenga and Manila. The law was changed in May 2011, which means after May 2011, there is no longer a statute of limitations in such crimes. If they thought they had anything, they should have brought it earlier. We're going to try and get uh, Officer Kenga out of jail. In fact, Judge Sokola had a stern message for Assistant Attorney General Nelson Werner on the timing of the superseding indictment. Sokola was hesitant to grant more time for Nelson to prepare for answers to motions for dismissal. Mr. Werner, you are and you do represent the people of Guam. Right. You brought the superseding indictment. This case has been around since 2008. We were ready to go for jury selection and trial in this matter tomorrow. Then the government comes in with a superseding indictment nearly three years after the fact, sir, and asking this court now to slow its wheels down. We cannot. Meanwhile, co-defendants Song Jia Cha and Freda Asun did not enter any pleas today because both their attorneys requested for an interpreter. Blue House owner Cha is already serving a life sentence for forcing the young woman from Chuk to prostitution, while Asun was her supervisor overseeing the girls. Attorneys for the police officers also wanted to know why bail for their clients were set at such high amounts, $250,000 for Manila and Kenga and $100,000 for Laksamana. Werner argued that it was said at those amounts because of the nature of their crimes and the danger they pose and because they may be a flight risk. The government is uh, making an argument that uh, he should stay in jail because perhaps he's a danger to the community or flight risk. Well, if they thought that was the case, they should have brought this four years ago. Mm -hmm.